What's up, my mini makers? Welcome to another episode of Tiny Tim's Minis. For those of you that do not know, I am Tim, and on this channel, I take big things and I make them small. Simple as that. This week, I did a poll. I had no idea what to make. I had a lot of ideas and I didn't know which one to choose. We all chose zombie Santa Claus. So we're gonna be making some snow. We're gonna be sculpting a spooky Santa Claus. We're gonna be making a cool little house. A lot of fun stuff. But before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends and family about me. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get building. I found this diagram online for armature sizes. Um, I used the biggest one because he kind of fit the idea of like the size I wanted. I didn't want to go too small. Kind of went like medium, medium, medium height. Um, I took some florist wire and then I wrapped a smaller gauge florist wire around the florist wire armature I made just to give some area for the clay to stick onto. And then I coated it in bacon bond and then put a base layer of some clay on there just so that it just bulks it out just a little bit. From there, I just got a scale, I, like, an idea of how tall he is versus how tall the building has to be, how it's gonna fit on my base, just all some fun measurements. And then we made a house. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed making this house. I haven't made anything like this in a while. I've usually been doing just sculpting. There's uh, the last time I made something out of wood. It was the, um, what was it? The candy stand for my slug monster. I took that video out. I cut everything out of paper and I traced on some poster board and I cut it out. And we got ourselves a base for our house. The house was the easiest part. I mean, sculpting wasn't too bad either. It wasn't a hard build. It was just between, I was, it was Thanksgiving and there was a lot going on. So I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. But from here, I just bulked out my sculpture. Um, I gave him a little belly because he's Santa Claus, bulked out his legs. And then I gave him a little, this is where his um, shirt's gonna start. All I did was thin out a piece of clay in my pasta roller, cut it out to the size, and then he had a shirt. It's simple as that. You don't have to make a whole new shirt. You just put the bottom of his shirt on and you got yourself a shirt. And then from here, it's just all about the little details. Gave him a little belt. It was adorable. I mean, it's the same. Just roll it out on the thinnest setting, cut out what you need. It's pretty simple. Just take your time, no rush. We don't need a rush here. Um, then I made little buttons. The buttons were, I loved, I loved all the little details on Santa Claus because it was a lot of fun to make. The details, they came out great. And they were, uh, I haven't sculpted this small in a while. So it was a good to get back to sculpting and carving in this scale. I gave him some little ribs. To be honest, a lot of the details I put on are covered by his beard. Um, but know that they're there. There's details that you really can't see, but you know from here that he has ribs, he has cuts, he has all this. And I think it's the little details you can just kind of peek around on the sculpture and be like, oh, what's under this? What's under his hair here? Oh, his ribs are sticking out? Spooky. And then I took my little stipple tool, gave him some cuts on his leg. Um, I distressed his suit just a little bit, just to make it look like he's ancient, he's old, he's dead, he's been attacked by like zombie reindeer. Um, I guess, I didn't have a story how he became Santa Claus, but I guess you could be like, he was feeding his reindeer one day and his reindeers got sick and then all of a sudden the reindeer died and then they came back and he's like oh no dancer prancer what's going on and then they bite him and attack him and now he's zombie santa claus um, the head all i did was i started with the skull and then i sculpted everything around his skull it's a little bit different how i would do it but i think it was it was fun it was a different way of sculpting his zombie face and i really enjoyed it i don't want to add to i wanted him to be terrifyingly dead so it was like half skull like a little bit up in here was his actual face but most of it was zombie face and i really liked how he came out this was a lot of fun to make um i really i don't know i just like making zombies because the detail all you have to do is just add a little detail the rest of it he's undead so if it looks bad he's a zombie it doesn't matter it's a lot of fun for the house uh i just hot glued everything together made sure everything fit on the base before I started gluing, and then just kind of went at it. It was a lot of fun. It was different because I'm not used to building little houses like this. I'm used to just sculpting things. I haven't done this in such a long time. Um, but I did frame up the windows. I framed, boarded up the whole house. I have my little cutter tool to give it a nice 45 degree angle. It came out, it looked, it looked great. I, when I put it together before, like glued everything together, I was like, oh no, this looks awful. And then I put that on and I was like, this, this is where it's at. For the 
stones. It's just a styrofoam cup. Cut out the edges, made it a square, and then made some bricks. When I put them on the house, I just did a layer of Mod Podge, put the bricks on, trimmed them to size, and then just kept going on with that. Um, it wasn't anything difficult. I didn't weather the bricks beforehand. Um, I did it afterwards, but I just put them on, cut them out, and I think it came out looking real nice. For the roof, all I did was cut out some strips, cut some lines on there. I wanted it to look like a thatch roof, so I took my wire brush and I went along the edges of where it looked like hay. Um, and then I just stacked them up. I made sure that the lines weren't connected because that just would have looked weird. Um, but unfortunately, most of the roof is covered by snow, so it didn't really matter. For the doors, I just took some clay, rolled it out in the thickest setting, and then um, I trimmed it to size. I had a door cut out from when I did the uh, poster board, and then I just used that for my uh, sizing. And then I just took my wire brush, did some wood texture on there. Again, this tool is fantastic. It's literally, I love using this tool. Like I use like three or four tools that I have and that's all I really need. Like my silicone, my little, um, it looks like a dental tool. And then the, uh, the wire brush. And that's all I really need. But the door, I love the door. The door is ador adorable. Um, I also made little windows with little Christmas trees on there. And I thought those were super cute. For the texture on the bricks, all I did, I just took some tin foil and just stabbed it into there. And it, do, it does a fantastic job. Like it looks like you could take your time detailing each one or you could just glue them on and boom, you're good. I did a base coat of black Mod Podge. This really helps with the stone color. Then all you have to do, I did a dry brushing of gray and right after the dry brushing of gray, let that dry, I did a dry brushing of white. Bada bing, bada boom, you got rocks. Like, it was magic. When I did the dry brushing of gray, I was like, ah, oh, this doesn't look great. And then I did the white, and I was like, oh my God. Cobblestone, it's wonderful. And then for the um, trim on the house, I did a dark brown, and then a dry brushing of like a sand brown, like a light brown, you know? And it, it looks nice, it looks weathered, it looks good. I had some trouble getting the color right. I was gonna do red, I was gonna do green. Like it's Christmas, we're gonna do some colors on there, but nothing looked good, so I just did a dark brown. Then we painted Santa. I had to save Santa Claus for last because I was terrified to paint him. I don't know why I was just stressing out so much about painting Santa Claus, but all I did was some red. I think it was because he's a zombie and there's blood and his suit is red and I have to do some blood on there and I was just kind of stressing out about that. I don't know why. But I just did a lighter red. It's just basically like bake it, basic red. Cause I did a crim like a dark red on his suit. And then I did a bright red just to get some contrast. And it dried kind of dark, but you can tell it's not the same color. It looks good. For the face I did a, I started with like a mixture of light brown and like a peach color and some gray. And then I kept adding red just to get some um, flesh tones in there. And it, it came out like that. I think that's the best face I've ever painted. And I just did some blood on his cheek. I made a little skull. It was like a bone white I just mixed up, like brown, yellow, and white. And then painted the blood on there. Um, painted his little eye. I love painting eyes. Eyes are my favorite. Even at this scale, I, I love painting them. And then the little details on there, I have this nice um, gunmetal silver. And I did that for his belt buckle and for his buttons. And I think he looks great. Um, there was some sculpting I did that I didn't show, but I just made a hat. I made a little bag for him. For the trim, I took some cotton balls, rolled it up, glued it on there, and same with the beard and the hair. And god dang, it looks fantastic. This, I was like, something's missing. Then I put this on here. I knew I was gonna put it on, but like, it was still missing the bit when I was sculpting. I'm like, he doesn't look good. And then I added this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's that nice little spice. Um, the blood on his beard. Just made him bloody. He's bloody Santa Claus. He's out there going to houses, eating kids, having his full. Kids are thinking they're gonna get presents. Sorry, your lunch. You are the cookie and milk. See you later, kid. But it was so much fun adding the blood and texture on him. For the door, I just painted it. It was dark brown, then a dry brush and light brown, and then I added the gunmetal for the hinges and just a little details on there. And it looks, I love those doors. And then the windows, I did the same thing, but added green for the trees. I love the trees. I love how that, oh man, those, that's literally my favorite part about this build is the house. Uh, for the snow, all I did was it's some baking soda, 
white paint. I use gesso, but it's the same thing. And then some Mod Podge. You mix that together, you got the base for the snow. That's not all the snow. That's just the base for the snow. It adds like the nice snow texture. And from there, all we did, I took, I covered him up, get yourself a matte spray paint, spray it on all the surfaces that you want the snow. And then from there you use baby powder and it's fantastic. You got yourself snow. Make sure you're wearing a dust mask, a respirator. You don't want to be breathing any of that in, even the baby powder. Um, then once that's done, you get all your snow encoded on there. Uh, you just spray it with some more matte paint and you're good to go. You got yourself snow. It looks really good. Uh, you can buy fake snow, but it's kind of expensive. So we're using this. Before we get to the final shots, I just want to touch how much of a dummy I am. I made that snow, and then as I was talking about making the snow, I remembered that I have fake snow. This is fake snow. And I could have used this, but instead, you get to learn how to make fake snow with me. So I guess it's a win-win. You learn how to make snow, and then I remember I have snow. I might use it in another project. I have some ideas. But I'm just kind of kicking myself in the butt. I thought that was funny. I think we're good to go. Let's get those final shots. Another diorama in the books. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything you want to see in miniature, comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you did not like this video, hit that like and hit that subscribe. All right, I will see you next time with another miniature. See ya.